Virgos. Hey, my love, love, loveies. Welcome back. This is a sort of part two to the video that we just posted. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what else we can pull. We're going to use these love oracle cards here with the messages from the person. Let's just tap in. I'm going to also make my own messages like this. I think you're going to love them. I can't wait till I make my M. Okay, I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. So Virgo, if you want your extended press on the other video that I posted previously, we're just diving right in right now. Let's cut to the chase, okay? Uh -huh. So somebody pulled away, they feel overwhelmed. They got a lot going on, a lot they're trying to manage, a lot of people pulling at them, they're trying to balance their energy. So it's just a lot. I feel like they're trying to keep their head above water here. I want to work things out. So you got somebody here that really wants to work things out. I feel like they're thinking about you. Something about you is different than the others. I feel like they definitely want to try to find a common ground in this matter, whatever it was. Okay. This is about your person. This is about what you're feeling towards your person or what your person is feeling toward you. Okay. There is a third party, and I feel like that's one of the biggest issues here. There is a third party, and there is somebody interfering. I feel like there is somebody, and I feel like that's why there's these two these little discrepancies keep coming out of nowhere because there's interference in this connection. How can you get to know someone when they can't really fully focus on you? Something fell on the floor. Let's read these floor cards. Hold on. And I'm sending you a multitude of love, light, positive energy. This is Empress Meek. For all of you who are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I open my arms to you. <laughs> and thank you for joining our family. Guys, you're doing so much better with liking the videos. I love you guys. Don't forget to like the videos if you like what we're doing over here. If you love your girl and you love the videos too, just, just make sure you like the video on your way out. Or when it first starts so you won't forget. Thank you, love bees. Let's see. So, this is what this person wants you to know. These poor cards are old as crap. But I love them. <laughs> Alright, so I feel empty without you. Secrets and deception. And I gave it to temptation. Alright, so this is what this person is feeling at this time about you. Or Virgo, it could be you. Just take it how it resonates. But this is what we have here. So somebody feels like there's a void when you're away. This means they're growing feelings for you. They're growing strong affections for you. Even love. And they may not be expressing how strong this has gotten over time. It hasn't been a lot of time for a lot of you. This is a new connection. I gave in to temptation. So I feel like, yeah, this person wasn't strong. They weren't being strong enough. Sometimes they have a, a point to prove. Uh, very fiery energy. Okay. Yeah, so that's what we have, and all three of those came out, so let's bundle those together. What else, Spirit? I feel like I'm not good enough for you, and I'm afraid of commitment. Let's see. We're going to keep, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Let's see if I'm afraid of commitment comes out. What else for Virgo? One more card, please, Spirit. Two more cards. All right? So they feel like they're not good enough for you. They feel like they can't give you what you need also. And then, they it says, you make me want to be a better person. That's so sweet. So, I feel like you have a very positive influence over this person. Uh-huh. And this person also was saying, you're always on my mind. They think about you all the time. And I feel like these messages are showing you this person's intimate thoughts and feelings. This is something that they haven't shared with you. They don't really tell you all this. Yeah, so what, whatever happened here, this person is definitely regretting it. Um, I feel like they didn't expect your reaction, but your reaction definitely got their attention. Your reaction to what, what happened got their attention 100%. All right? They see that you're different, you're not like the others, and they can't play with you. Okay? Let's go a little bit deeper. Let's see what Spirit wants to tell you about this connection. Then we're going to dive right into the tarot. Ancestor, spirit guides, holy angels, holy spirit. Show Virgo clear messages and come clarify this for us. Thank you for blocking the bond on negative energy and entities. Giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and life. 
and thank you for a victorious week healing in every situation we may face in abundance and overflow and thank you for touching someone's heart that doesn't know you today amen amen and amen let's see so let's let's get these real quick so we got wait the timing is not quite right yet i feel to be serious with this person um to try to push the envelope and take it to another level um i feel like it's not time yet retreat alone in nature or it says time alone or in nature will help you recharge so i want things to work out first recharge your energy so you can be very open-minded and your intuition can be elevated or enhanced okay this says there is a third party it is safe to trust this situation i feel like maybe this person is being honest with you about the people that they deal with the others okay then we have obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement and then a leap of faith it is safe for you to make the move you're considering okay with this i'm not good enough for you that's what came out two more please spirit one a two Ooh. play hard find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other and then you may want to be a better person this person is secretly longing for you like they want you and they get very emotional when they can't have you or they can't spend time with you that um explains some of this arguing Let's find out what else is going on here. With the snowball. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, and Ancestors and the Spirit, guys. Show me the messages for my Virgo. All all right i pulled away because i'm overwhelmed with all the things in my life we got the emperor energy a very strong leader all right this could be a younger guy this could be somebody who has a head like this head could possibly look like this maybe not the same haircut but the same type of shape and everything yeah so we got this emperor energy a strong leader could be a fire sign i want to work things out your intuition could have told you that or we're talking about a cancer but i basically think um if i want to work things out this is talking about distinctive intuition so it's like people know that you're intuitive because of what you say to them i love that <laughs> there's a third party what's going on with this third party spirit wow cause th this is what caused that big argument Knight of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Flow and attraction. Okay. Somebody's coming towards you or a flow and attraction. But there's a ruthless win here with there's a third party. I feel like this person is trying to win at all costs. They want to beat you at the game. If you ever said you cheated on them. Or it's a lot here. This person is, is a bit egotistical. And they can't stand the thought of somebody that they wanted to have the talk with in a relationship. Hmm. Somebody definitely feels that energy. Or they're lying about, you know, they're, somebody definitely is just lying about things it's like they're mixing the truth with lies well they're not really necessarily lying but they're not volunteering extra information so it'd be like how would i know that type of energy yeah and we got secrets and deception look what came out seven of swords hidden deceit i feel like that's these relationships that they're holding on to they're not going to get rid of them it seems like they're going to hold on to them forever holding on tight got the robot grip temperance patience and balance so i feel like this person could be holding on to you but i feel like this came out with the, i'm holding on to information um temptation card so hmm, hard to say i feel like i'm not good enough for you 
Knight of Swords, an unstoppable force to bring in the much, much needed change. Justice, fair judgment. Wow, the Ace of Coins. Let's go. New abundance. Okay. You're getting your justice. You're going to get your justice for having to deal with this 